Detached pragmatists, INTJs, are systematic and often visionary problem solvers. They approach problems in a methodical manner. Where often slow to act, they are unconsciously observant and analytic, slowly noting how parts of the whole fit together before taking decisive action. When they do so, they typically seek to arrange things to suit their needs or achieve a particular goal or vision. Outwardly, INTJs often appear distant and for the most part inexpressive. They can often come across as cold or even harsh, but more or less just detached. They do not easily get caught up in their emotions, the emotions of others even less. Despite their somewhat stiff appearance, INTJs tend to have a rich inner life and will have an eclectic set of interests that tend to run very deep. Their interests tend to be geared towards abstract and theoretical subjects that should, nevertheless, be able to be benchmarked by objective metrics. Whatever their interests are, they tend to pursue them with an almost obsessional intensity where they will let their curiosity lead them as it will. Some INTJs tend to be perfectionistic in nature, where even in their more relaxed and less abstract hobbies, they tend to play in order to win, that is, to become very practiced and skilled. While often not the greatest with people whom they have a hard time appreciating or understanding emotionally, and whom they find exhausting at times, INTJs nevertheless find themselves in leadership positions due to their ability to devise systems that help facilitate work in a rational and efficient manner. INTJs tend to be good at this, since they usually have a greater overall vision of how things can and should function. They tend to be academically oriented and a good fit for higher education, where they often pick more science or technology-oriented fields. Degrees in which they can learn theoretical topics that have a basis in real-world application tend to appeal more to INTJs than purely theoretical fields, such as philosophy or literary theory. INTJs tend to have a high drive for autonomy perhaps the highest among all the types, and they will plan extensively and many years into the future to achieve what they want and to build the kind of environments they want to live and work in. Generally unsentimental, and with no particular regard for the status quo, they can often clash with others in trying to implement the changes they desire in order to bring change to the overall system. They tend to take a top-down approach, where they will first work out an overall plan before going down a layer to further refine its implementation, and only finally will they address all the details. They can often seem somewhat arrogant, and they will often work ruthlessly towards their goals, applying the criterion, does it work, while having little regard or remorse for what has proven not to work. INTJs generally dislike dealing with procedures in states that are not optimized, and seek to change or refine them to push their ideas forward in order to build, create, and innovate. While they can seem harsh, INTJs are often more tolerant than they appear. While they do tend to ruthlessly question everything, they'll usually question themselves and their own ideas even more so than those of others. They are not hesitant or doubtful in trying to figure out what they want to do. In fact, INTJs tend to have a strong intrinsic motivation towards evaluating both their own ideas and those of others and to determine whether they are valid or invalid. To this end, while often very blunt, INTJs aren't as judgmental as they may appear and consider a great many things such as feelings, ideas, thoughts, and plans to be separate entities from those exterior objects or people who formed them. They may express criticism towards an idea without necessarily realizing that to others it will seem as if they are also criticizing the person. With regards to emotion and feeling, in spite of appearances, INTJs are often deeply emotional in a very raw sense, but just as deeply loath to express such emotions to others. Often seeing human nature as unavoidably repetitive, most good causes and ideals are something that they remain largely indifferent to.